Sneak Peekers, I'm Caroline Scott. In the spirit of All Hallows' Eve, I've casted a bit of dark magic so that you all unequivocally agree with my list of best witches. Let's get started. First, we have the Sanderson Sisters from the Halloween classic Hocus Pocus. Played by Bette Midler, Kathy and Ajimi, and Sarah Jessica Parker, these wicked sisters chase after children in the pursuit of eternal youth. Embarrassing story time. When I was at my friend's sleep Halloween sleepover, they played this movie and I had to go home. I cried, my friend laughed, and my mom sort of shook her head in disappointment. I've rewatched it since then. I still cried, but I can definitively say it's an A-plus switch movie. Next up, we have The White Witch, played by Tilda Swinton. She is the baddest beast in Narnia, in my opinion. This son of a witch straight up stabbed the allegorical Jesus lion. The Chronicles of Narnia could not have concocted a better villain. Following that, we have a very different blonde, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, played by Melissa Joan Hart. Her struggle balancing her magical responsibilities, her mortal, her mortal social life, and her strange talking cat, Salem, kept me interested from the very first episode. In the vein of kick-ass teen witches, Marty Cromwell, played by Kimberly J. Brown, comes in at the, uh, at the next on the list. Uh, Marty discovers that if she doesn't start her witch training before her 13th birthday, she will lose her powers forever. So she whisks away to the mystical Halloween town to master her powers under her grandmother's eccentric tutelage. The fact that Marnie's mom almost kept her from her powers gets me incensed every time I watch it, which incidentally is every time they rewind the Halloween Town series on Disney Channel. I would ward everyone away from the fourth movie though. They change out Kimberly Brown for Sarah Paxton, but keep all the other characters. It totally ruins the illusion of the Cromwell family and also my childhood. Then we have the, f uh, the High Priestess of R'hllor, the Consort of Kings. She who gives birth to really creepy, uh, really creepy birth to assassin shadows. That's right, I'm talking about Melisandre from Game of Thrones, played by Carice Von Houten. The mysterious powers bestowed upon her by the Red God remind us all that the night is dark and full of terrors. Now, I haven't seen the first two seasons of American Horror Story, but once I heard that the third season was following a coven of witches, I knew I had to check it out. I have not been disappointed. Within the first several episodes, uh, this badass coven has brought back people from the dead, flipped over a bus filled with date-raping frat boys, and dug up an immortal racist bitch from the 1830s. This pick I'm discussing encompasses the entire coven. At the moment, I'm in love with the series. However, in the back of my mind, I'm kind of waiting for Ryan Murphy to mess it up. This next choice, oddly enough, follows The Power of Three. This, uh, the TV series Charm tells the story of three sisters, Prue, Piper, and Phoebe and also Paige, uh, with, several, uh, with separate powers who have to uh, work together in order to defeat uh, the powers of darkness. These dark acolytes, oddly enough, never stray too far from San Francisco. In any case, the story of female power and the bonds of sisterhood keeps its audience spellbound. Hermione, do I even need to say her last name? Fine, it's Granger. You know, from that international franchise, Dairy Pooper, the eight-part film series in which follows a witch who magically makes cows crap. Joking aside, uh, Hermione Granger, played by the captivating Emma Watson, is the reason Harry Potter is still alive and kicking at the end of that series. She is the brightest witch of her age, and I love her so much. One of the best witches out there is Lamia from the movie Stardust. I get so mad when, people, uh, when I hear people haven't seen Stardust. Stardust has everything. Humor, romance, adventure, action, fantasy, witches that feed on the hearts of human stars. Isn't that what everyone wants? At any rate, Lamia is the baddest witch of them all. In the pursuit of eternal youth, she and her creepy si sisters, Impusa and Mormo, grab unsuspecting fallen stars and lure them in their lair before they cut out the and eat their hearts. They're the stuff of nightmares, but for whatever, for whatever reason, I love them too. And now for the witch to top the list. For anyone who knows me, the answer is obvious. I'm a weed knight through and through. A weed knight for you unenlightened folk is someone who worships the work of Joss Whedon. It's no surprise then that Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Willow Rosenberg wins the best witch. What I love about this character is that she starts from a place of total moral goodness, the definition of innocence and sweetness, and slowly over the course of the series descends into total moral darkness. After that descent, she has a redemption arc. Never has the character's development been so well handled. And to top it all off, she is funny, she is smart, and she is so beautifully human. She is my best witch. Well. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Back to you guys.